Okay, so a lot of new releases from OpenAI yesterday. Uh, one of them was the OpenAI Codex CLI. So this is a lightweight coding agent that runs in your terminal. That sounds familiar, right? That is basically, it's exactly competitor to Cloud Code. And as you probably know, I really uh, like Cloud Code, so it's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, I haven't installed this yet, so let's do this uh, quick installation together. So today I thought we can actually use this with the new O4 Mini model. Maybe we'll try O3, we'll see. Uh, I wanna try to build an MCP server using the codex. So I thought we could just walk through this quick start together here, get it set up and start testing this out. Uh, a lot of people have covered the O3 models and O4 mini in ChatGPT. So yeah, maybe I'll come back to that, but I'm not quite sure. I wanna try out Codex today. So let's see what, how we can set this up and how this will perform. So I am running this on a Mac OS, uh, but they do support Linux and of course Windows via VSL2. So I think everyone should be able to try this out if you really wanted to. But uh, let's just start uh, installing this now. So let's head over to our terminal and let's just run this npm install. Uh, next we're gonna set uh, our API key here. So I'm just gonna go grab my key and uh, set this up. And that should be basically it. Then we can run this and start interacting. Okay, so we installed this, so I'm just gonna set my key. Okay, that was done. Now we just should be able to run Codex, right? Warning, it stays for the code. Uh, do you want to continue? Yeah, I can continue. Okay, here we go. So we are default on the O4 Mini, that's interesting. Right, try to explain the code base. So it looks like, uh, kind of exactly like uh, Cloud Code, to be honest. Bit of a different UI, but uh, let's try to add some documentation in this uh, folder because we don't have anything in this, uh, yeah, codex. So I'm just gonna add some documentation around MCP servers here, and then we can start testing this out. So I added some documentation here about Cloud Code MCP, MCP server building for server developers, and some information about Kling AI, because the other day we tried to build an MCP server with uh, GPT 4.1, and I wasn't successful, so let's try today to build the same server using O4 Mini, and we can test out this MCP server over on Cloud Code. So now I think we should be able to just do, can you summarize the documentation for me? Something like this. So we have the thinking part. Yeah, we kind of know that. So we are running the O4 Mini. We can see the commands here. So we are do, uh, searching out the library. We found the three markdown files. We do this set command here. Okay, model concept protocol. We're looking at the Kling AI. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. There's a lot of, I don't know why they need to do that. There's a lot of thinking here, but that's fine, I guess. Oops. So let's just wait for this. And then I think we're just gonna try to start building this out with our specifications. Okay, so here we got the answer. High level summary. Uh, walks through the documentation of setting up a uh, Postgres MCP server. Uh, okay, yeah, it looks quite good, I think. Should be, it's not the hardest thing to do. So uh, now let's try to actually uh, test this out. So I just wanna do, so if you go back here, they have some instructions and you can see they have this something called full auto mode, right? So we can do approval mode, full auto. And this is, uh, uh, yeah, you can see, uh, Codex will scaffold a file, run inside uh, a sandbox, installing missing dependencies. So you can see full auto approval while safe and secure by running network disable and directory sandboxed. I think that's pretty interesting. I think we wanna try that out for building our server. So let's grab this command. And yeah, I think we're just gonna give it a shot here. So I'm gonna do this and uh, let's do the prompt here. Okay, good, so uh, I need to build an MCP server uh, for a uh, cloud code. So this MCP server should just take a string as an argument to use the replicate API and the Kling AI video generator to generate a video and it should just return the URL. So you need to create that video generation tool in the MCP server. Uh, the MCP server itself, uh, we want to use the TypeScript. And yeah, that's about it. I just build out this MCP server for me. 
and I will test it and come back to you. Okay, so I don't know if that was the best prompt, but let's give it a shot. So now we're kind of testing how good this is at uh, following instructions. So we might have to adjust or iterate some things, but let's give it a shot here. I also really wanted to monitor the price, so uh, I'm gonna look. I think we have some price, uh, we should have, but uh, let's look at that afterwards. So I'm just gonna let this run for a while now, and then we can come back to this and see if we get any results here. So while we wait, we can look at this. So this is the pricing for the O3 API, 10 in, 40 out, quite expensive. And remember, on these reasoning models, um, they use a lot of tokens because they have these thinking tokens too. So quite an expensive model, but it's supposed to be very powerful. We're gonna try it out later. But but if you look at O4 mini, that's cheap, right? 1.1 in, 4.4 out. So that's yeah, 10 times cheaper. So that shouldn't be too much. And it's gonna be if this is a good model, it should be much faster. And we can kind of compare this to yeah. I'm not quite sure, maybe Claude 3.7 thinking, maybe, we'll see. Uh, but let's give it a shot here now, let's see if we had made some progress. Okay, so now we need to uh, allow commands, so I'm just gonna say yes. <laughs> and we j I'm just gonna keep giving this, uh, let me see here, okay, so we created the packages, and yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we created our MCP server director here. So it seems to work. Uh, don't we have like a allow command? I thought we gave this like full auto, but uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, click yes on everything here, and I'll be back when we have something we can try out. Okay, so you can see uh, we got the response here. So we added some new files. We have some steps. CD into the Kling MCP server. Do an npm install. Export this. Run the npm build. I want to do that from here. Okay, so you can cd into the Kling MCP server and do the npm install. Let's try that. I haven't tested to see if we can do these types of commands. Okay, so we can do the shell command. Uh, yeah, no problem. Let's try that. So I want to see if we get some errors and we can pick up those. Uh, yeah, we can actually pick up those errors. That's nice. And that's something I really like from Cloud Code. It's really easy to work with these errors. Change up the version. Let's try again. Okay, we got it. So that was pretty good. Great job there. And now we want to export our key, I think. Okay, so now we're gonna try to do, do the build. Let's see if we have any build errors here. Okay, so we didn't get any build errors. That's good. So we need to export our token and then we're gonna try to run it. Okay, so I did export my token. Now let's try to add this. So let's do Claude mcp add and uh, let's give it a name so let's do cling ai node and uh, let's do the path okay so we did add it let's do claude mcp okay so we are connected so that's a good start remember this was the first um, zero shot and uh, let's test out this now and see if we can get a video from cling ai okay so i need a video from cling ai uh, can you just use the prompt uh, action movie, high speed car chase, drone shot, high speed action? Let's try to adjust this a bit <laughs> uh, because we need to add some. Uh, let's do this, okay? And uh, let's send it. So see if we actually connect to our MCP server now. Yes, we get the prompt here. Okay, so I thought I did that, but let's ask. Um, let's ask. Uh, Codex now to actually I kind of want to include this in my uh, uh, When I add this to Claude code So instead of setting this replicate API token as an environment variable uh, I want to include this when we add the server to Claude code Can you change that up so we can just uh, include this API token in the argument when we are adding the server? Let's just try that instead. I kind of like to do it that way instead. Okay, so that was pretty fast. So I updated the server now takes your token as a CLI argument. So we can do Claude MCP add server command uh, cling and okay. So I just asked for a simple example. We got that. So yeah, we're just gonna set it up. 
It's basically the same, but we just need to add our replicate token at the end. So I'm just gonna remove this. We have already built it. So now I'm gonna do Claude MCP add Kling AI node. Let's do our path and I'm gonna do my token. Okay, that was done. Let's launch Claude code again, MCP. Yeah, we are connected. Let's try it out again. So let's do the same prompt. High action movie, high speed car chains, drone shot high action okay seems to be working pretty good so i gotta say so far uh, it's been pretty smooth using cloud codex it's very similar to let's check out the help functions so do we have cost i don't see cost we have model we can switch that approval mode that's fine we don't have cost though uh, but I'm gonna go into my dashboard on OpenAI and check the cost for O4 Mini because I haven't used that model before. Uh, but let's finish up this. Uh, I guess we can do it now because we are waiting for this movie. I've done 600,000 input tokens, 25,000 outputs, but basically I don't have any cost here yet. Uh, I might check at the end of the video, but uh, it shouldn't be much basically. Let's try to switch model. So let's do S, let's do model, was it? Unable to switch model. You can only pick a model before the... Okay, we need to start a new chat. That's fine. Uh, but we don't need to... I think we are pretty much done here now anyway. So let's exit this. Uh, let's do it again. Co codex. Uh, okay. Uh, what do we do? Model. Okay, so here we can pick. So we can do basically all models. That's pretty interesting. Can we do for O? I kind of want to test out images. Okay, so we basically have every single model. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like the model selector here. It looks pretty smooth. Uh, let's try to do for O. Uh, let's try to do an image. Can you create an image of a cat? Okay, so we can't do images in this environment. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Now we know. But let's check back on our cloud code now. Okay, so we have the URL. Great. So it's in the MCP server worked on the first try. So that was pretty nice to see from O4 Mini and Codex. And here's the video. <laughs> High speed action car chase. Whoa. <laughs> let's watch it again. Okay, it's pretty nice. So this is the car we have that is in focus. Pretty cool drone shot. I don't know what happened at the end here, but yeah, the MCP server worked first try. I uh, kind of like that. Okay, so yeah, O3 is also working, is it? I think it is, switch to O3. Yeah, I don't have any good use case for O3 at the moment, but we probably come back to that. Today, I just wanted to do my first impression of Codex, and I gotta say, so far it's been, been pretty good. But it's way too early to see if I'm gonna switch from Claude Code to Codex. Uh, I need to try it out more. Basically, I don't have time to do that today. Uh, I'm also going to be wary of the price because we know Claude Code is very expensive. But if we can run this on the O4 Mini and it does perform well, we should save uh, some money on that. So that's going to be pretty interesting to check out. So I'm pretty positive after my first impression here. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go check out the new models from OpenAI. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. And uh, definitely go check out Codex. So yeah, thank you for tuning in and hope you enjoyed this early impression first test of Codex and I'll see you again tomorrow.